in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. And I want to hear what you guys have to say about the horror aspect of it because everyone is making a big deal online. They're like, this is a Sam Raimi movie through and through. It's so scary. Ah, don't take your kids. And Steve is like, well, I'm taking my kids. And you, <laughs> and you took your kids. And, and they liked it from what I know. So I just want to hear you guys talk a little bit about the horror aspect. Is this a horror movie? Could have been more a horror movie? Or are people over-exaggerating just because they think they can because of who's attached to this? I, I On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 1.5. I didn't find it horror at all. I, I could see how some things might be scary. Some things could be construed. I, I, James, can I spoil? Or can, I, can I go into that here? The spoilers is up. Okay. Well, I'm talking about for you because I know you haven't seen it. Yeah, but I've seen like... All right. So when I, all, saw, I saw some deaths. So to me, the scariest part that's horror is zombie strange and all the ghosts and goblins, whatever you want to call them, all the specters that formed his cape and carried him over. That was pretty, okay, I could see that being intense. But the way they portrayed it, it wasn't graphic. It wasn't gruesome. It wasn't, you know, rotting flesh dripping off of them, the blood being disgusting. The way it was portrayed wasn't, scary so so i I wouldn't put i mean yeah the concept the idea of it yep that's horror but they didn't portray it as horror um you know i i related to i took my oldest son to see shazam and there's that scene in the boardroom where all the dead the deadly sins um manifest and basically destroy you know, their demons and they destroy everybody and that was graphic that scared the crap out of him he was like what was that <laughs> this didn't have that effect on him and it didn't have effect on my, my my youngest either so i i know it was being pitched around out there oh it's a horror i i just don't see it i and think it's a good pre, sorry sorry I was gonna say, it's a good prelude that i think marvel could do horror could go okay now that we did 1.5 let's go six let's see what we can do um i don't see ever see them going full on 10 out of 10 horror but they don't need to and i just should point out that you actually love the movie there's not a knock on the movie at all what you're not at all no not just, at all just, I, <laughs> just in case anyone interprets that way though like, he don't like it it's not scary andrew what about you you are a huge uh sam raimi for the love of the game fan uh what did you oh what um <laughs> I like you know, for love of the game, by the way, Kevin Costner, and he cuts his arm open, and he, like he had to just put gore in it somewhere. Raimi, <laughs> I was trying to to think when I heard of all the the Raimi talk after this came out about you know how much Raimi I'd been exposed to, and I've really only seen his Spider Man trilogy and his Evil Dead trilogy, and that's all the Raimi I've ever seen. You never seen Dark Man? I've never seen Dark Man. I want to. Um, I oh no, I've seen Oz the Great and Powerful. I forgot about that. Yeah, uh, everybody. Most people, about that. most people, most did, people. Yeah. Did. Um, and I, I gotta be honest, I really don't like the Evil Dead movies at all. Um, but in terms of the scariness of Doctor Strange two, it's it's horror in the way like horror was made back in like the early seventies. So it's not what's considered horror anymore, but it would have totally been what was considered horror once upon a time in that the horror comes from just really cool scary visuals like you know you you mentioned the, the, the ghosts right the ghosts that fly around strange and give him his, his zombie powers right like that is that would have scared the pants off everybody in 1971 but now we just look at it and we're like oh that's neat that looks really cool it looks like a meatloaf album cover uh and the stuff that scarlet witch ends up doing is horrifying in the sense that like, oh my God, she's doing these things. We know this woman and seeing her do these things is disturbing us. Uh, but it it never feels like a modern horror movie. I think that horror is a much broader term than people like to give it credit for. That's that's fair. I I haven't, you gotta see Darkman though. Liam Neeson, Darkman. I uh, know, yeah, that's I want like, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a pretty, I don't know if it holds up or not. I haven't seen it in like 20 something years, but it's, mm -hmm. it was really good way, way back in the day. His precursor to Spider-Man. 